Menopause. My name is Michelle the Menopause and Sewer. Um, I'm coming to you today um, a bit bedraggled to be honest. I have had a very, very busy um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday and the reasons why will be revealed right now. So, as I said, I am actually at the moment on a Tuesday morning sitting in my car going to work. Now, um, I have had a busy Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I didn't do a Friday sews because I was going to the NEC on um, Saturday and I thought I would grab some footage for you to see. And... Uh, Sunday I was busy at work and uh, catching up on home life so I didn't get a chance to do that. Um, the NEC was the Sewing for Pleasure and Craft Show. Um, absolutely amazing, absolutely, totally, totally enjoyed myself. Thank you to everybody that came up to me and recognised me. Um, Although I did look a bit, little bit different. I did have makeup on and I did have my hair down. So um, people sort of looked at me and thought, is it, isn't it, is it, isn't it? And um, then they come back and went, you are Michelle, aren't you? And I said, yeah. Um, which I thought was lovely. And it was lovely to get recognised, to be honest, because at the minute... Um, I have felt a little bit deflated um, due to, um, you know, just not being, having any content to get out to you guys. And I have, do apologise for that. Um, that is totally and utterly on me. Um, I have just been, I did have shingles again, as I've told you. And I think it, this time it whooped me out. So anyway, um, so that was, I went on Saturday and I was happy about everybody that come up to me. And I did say to um, one lady called Jess um, that I would mention her because um, I accidentally did bump into her with my bag um, that was on the back of my back. And um, yeah, so I thought, do you know what? I am sorry. And as I turned around and she, she, she'd she recognised me and my name by my voice, believe it or not. So she said, and I thought it was you. And I thought yeah, that was quite lovely. So, and I met some lovely, lovely vloggers there. And um, I was sitting, standing, watching. Um, I met up with Laura from So Very Laura um, there on Saturday. Um, she came around with me for a little while um, with me and my friends, my, my neighbour. I met um, Shannon from the Sewing Warehouse. I met Sam, the Sea Queen Girlie. I met Jess from So... No, not So Little Tom, that's Karen. So, so oh God, I can't... I'm re I the ladies that soon so endo for yellow for endo. I will. My brain's not functioning properly at the minute, so I do apologise. I am absolutely overtired, um, and also I bumped into um, Sam from So Let Sparkle, and a few other vloggers, um, small time vloggers that I had seen there. Um, the other thing is as well. Oh, sorry, there's somebody there. Um, it, the other thing is as well, I did, um, I was standing watching one of the, um, the catwalk shows and, um, as I, as it all ended and this person got up in front of me, she turned around and she went, Michelle. And as it happened, it was Ruth from, um, Seamstress Ruth. And I absolutely, she's the most lovely loveliest person you will ever meet she's she's so softly talking and so polite and i just found it amazing so thank you ruth and um you did mention me on your blog as well the other day which i do appreciate as did most of the other vloggers i have just mentioned 
Um, the other vlogger that I did meet was Adam from um, Adam Sews. Only thing is, um, we didn't actually get a photo together, which I was a little bit sad about actually, because um, it's all right. There's, a, there's now a bit. The big men are coming. Um, so yeah. I was a little bit sad about because I thought, do you know what? Excuse that noise, that is the bin man. I did get managed to get my photos taken with him the other the last time and this time um we didn't manage but we did have a lovely chat and um I absolutely adore this um Adam is the most lovely human being you will ever, ever meet um so anyway we went round the, the stalls a little bit um i actually did not pick up a lot from um the sewing for pleasure um mainly because um i didn't actually get a chance to have a look at anything because i kept believe it or not i kept getting stopped and I just, I just thought, oh, every time I looked at something, somebody would tap me on my shoulder and say, are you Michelle? And I, I, you know, I don't not like it because I can't, I can't lie, I did. I really, really enjoyed it. And it was just, I can't say enough how lovely it was just to get recognised, to be honest. So it was lovely. So I do appreciate everybody that did. So that was sewing for pleasure. On Sunday, as I said, I did. Um, I will put a little bit of footage and some pictures of everybody I've managed to get a picture with um, of everything that went on um, over the weekend or at the end of this video. And I will show you in a minute what I did buy from sewing for pleasure. But um, yesterday I went to Shrewsbury and um me and my next door neighbor went to shrewsbury on a day trip with um a few other people that we go to sewing with and i had the most amazing day for um collecting um fabrics so i did purchase a few fabrics from these um, I will I will go through with you in a minute. I'm just explaining at the minute what I'm, I'm um, what I've done over the weekend. So I will do that with you. And yes, um, so we went to Watson and Thornton. Um, I will put some pictures up of the shop. Um, and yeah, we went to Watson and Thornton, and I absolutely thought that shop was absolutely. It was so, so well placed out. Everything was in coordinated colours and it was it was just lovely. The shop was amazing. And um, downstairs they had um, dressmaking, they had um, pot, um, crafting equipment, fabrics. They had um, haberdashery, um, coating, everything like that was downstairs. Upstairs they had all furs and fleeces and everything like that. Um, so I did have a good look around that shop. Um, I did get a little bit of footage from it, um, but not a lot. But uh, you can see how well it, it is um, placed out. Then we went round the shops for a little while and we went to Abacan and although i've been excited to go to abacan i was actually a little bit disappointed in the way that they do they don't do their fabrics by the meter they do it by the kilo which they said sometimes you do get more but if it's heavier fabric you get less for your money but if it's lighter fabrics, um, like say mesh, you'll get loads of mesh for one kilo. But 
as you'll see, oh, I have got some footage of the, the what they how it's placed out and stuff. But I managed to get um, I managed to get some um, fabrics from from there, and I, I did buy quite a lot from there. But what I bought was I bought some jersey, I bought some uh, ponty fleece, um, not ponty fleece. Um, I can't remember. It, it'll tell me on my receipt. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I, I, when I get home a bit later, I will exp I will show you um, the fabrics that I bought, and I will put in a little bit of fo footage. Oh, but anyway, back at Abercorn's, um I wasn't actually impressed with so ve ve impressed very much from that shop in Shrewsbury, but. In saying that, it, nothing was actually cheap. Most things was cheaper at um, the sewing for pleasure. To be honest, um, it wasn't as much as cheap in the shops as I thought it was going to be. Because when I was explaining to about Abercorn in Shrewsbury, I, I, I was expecting it to be quite cheap. Fifty-four eastbound Excuse at junction me. three. Excuse me, that was the. Um, update on the news so I'm so sorry anyway um yes so um but there was all in, most of the stuff was all in baskets and there was on there wasn't on a lot on rolls that was all folded up and put into black baskets and if there was more than they measured it by the meter they would have done they do do things on the meter but if there is less than a metre on the actual remnant, they won't cut it to size. They only cut it to size if there's a metre or more to sell again. So, um, I did buy quite, quite a bit of fabrics from them, but um, I wasn't actually that impressed. But I did like the fabrics that they had. Um t-shirt in fabrics was really nice i must admit i did like those um but I, I, and the only thing is as well they don't deal with cash they don't do cash at all so anyway we went we went and had a, after we went there we had went and had a cup of tea and some lunch at um listers um and i'll put some footage of listers um it's a, it's a it's a well known shop anyway. Um, it's a furniture shop, but it's um, it has the most beautiful um, beautiful furniture in there. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll just put you some footage in at the end, and I'll show you. Um, but it, it was it was just beautiful, and we had sat and had a cup of tea and some lunch, and it was just absolutely amazing the food the cups of tea even it tastes different i don't know why but it did and um yes and we had a, a small pot of tea about this big and we got four cups out of it which i i was actually amazed how <laughs> they managed it. it's like it was an endless pot at the bottom and you just kept boring but it was lovely um i did enjoy that day and then after we went um there we after we had lunch there we went and had a look in a couple of the charity shops there and um we ended up back at watson and thornton and um i purchased something else as well so it was i just purchased some freeze paper from them um because i wanted to um i wanted to, to sort of have some at hand at home just in case I did need to trace anything on the quick so yeah because I'm still using the um the garden fleece for tracing fabrics because you can fold it and everything and it just flattens itself out again it is an absolutely lovely thing to to do um but um the only thing about the the actual um, fabrics and stuff from 
uh, tracing tracing on tracing paper sorry my, my words are not coming out today so it's showing how tired i am today um yeah so um on the tracing paper you have to fold it and then sometimes you have to iron it and it, it, it just it takes too much time up so um time that i don't have so anyway that is my little bit of um update on what i've been up to this weekend so next weekend i will not do a friday shows but i will do a um a vlog on the stitch festival because i am going to the stitch festival on saturday so if you see me there just come up and say hello if you hear me which is my voice is probably more common than my actual looks because I do look different when I've got my hair down and my makeup on so um yeah just pop up and say hello I'm more than welcome to have my photo talk with you and yeah just come over and have a look and say hello so I will see you in a minute for my reveal of what I bought from the NEC crafting for so for pleasure and crafting show and um what i bought from shrewsbury which was quite a lot so yep yeah. anyway i will see you on the later and i will um see you at the end so bye bye
work um just going to show you now what i bought from each shop uh, and the nac and strewsbury so first of all i'll start with the nec so we i didn't buy much from the nec i bought um three items of and um it wasn't a lot i totally and utterly didn't get chance much to have a look around i was focused completely on the um the catwalk shows and the um fact that i was meeting other vloggers and it, it, it was just lovely it really was i really enjoyed the day however i'll just show you what i bought um there was a little shop and i think it was um called no it's just gone out my head little haberdashery shop and i bought two items from them oh god what that's called if i think of it i'll put it put it down um i bought a spool holder which i don't know if you can see that it's the quilted bear one this was 4.99 4.99 and you'll have to excuse me now because i've i have actually broken three nails this week believe it or not i don't know how uh gotta go and get them fixed so yeah i bought those um because i'm running out of space to put my gutterman threads on um i bought um some smith universal um needles because i need them from my sewing machine and i bought this now this fabric i have in mind for a sadie jumpsuit and i bought three meters of this and it was 7.95 a meter now as you can see it is my colors as i've been told it is coming up as um a dark teal but this is quite a light teal um excuse my shiny head i do apologize but the light is right above me um so i bought that from lily's fabrics and that was 7.95 a meter and i bought three meters of that now it's 60 wide as well so although it doesn't look like it it, it is um so yeah that's all i bought from the nec I'll get back to you with the uh, rest that I bought from the others.
went to Abercarn and Watson and Thornton. Now we went into Watson and Thornton first and um, in that shop uh, I'll put some footage in in a minute that you can see um, how the shop looked and how it, how it was laid out. Didn't get much fab, um, shop, um, much shots about the fabrics, um, the cotton fabrics and stuff like that because um, when I filmed it, I filmed it on the second time we went in there um, and there was quite a few people so I didn't really want to film while there was there. But everything in that shop was colour coordinated, it was all placed out um, to, um, until you got to the uh, other side which was all the double gauzes, the um chambres the, everything like that they didn't seem to be in color coordinated but all the cottons and the tildes and um the liberty fabrics they was all in uh, color coordinated uh order which was nice because at least then you could see what what was nice and there was i'll, I'll tell you what in watson and thornton there was a massive mirror as well so you could go up to the, the mirror and have a look see if it was your colors um which was good which really really was good now i, I purchased from them on the first time i went um i purchased some navy blue coffin um from them excuse the the white so I purchased some navy blue coffin and I had a metre and a half, I think I had, no, yes I, I did, I had a metre and a half of this. Um, and that was, how much was that one? 
That came to that was this one was nine ninety five. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. This one was six pounds in the um, a meter, so I spent something like fifteen pounds something on on coffee, which was it was reasonable, but. Um, because believe it or not, in Birmingham, we we can only get coffee from Barry's or something like that. You can't get it from the markets, which I find is really strange. But that, I bought some coffee anyway. Um, I, I have purchased in the past my coffee from um, Pine Fabrics or um, from Beyond the Pink Door from Andrea. Um, yes, so I bought that first and then i noticed there was some um patterns that was um five pound um so i bought two patterns this one which i quite liked which is a vogue one um i thought well i've got two weddings next year maybe i could wear, wear do it for a wedding um, with a heel or something um, to make me look a little bit taller. My aim is to look like this lady here. It's not going to happen. Let's face it. But I can dream. I can dream. So the next pattern, I thought about the dressmaker's ball. Now I do like this one. I like this 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 shape and this length. Because I don't think long, long ones suit suit me. Because I've got short legs, unless I wear a heel. Um, but for the dressmaker's ball, I don't really want to wear too much of a heel because I don't, I like to have a dance and everything else. And um, I'm not going to be able to dance in high heels because I feel like I'm walking like Mr. Soft. I don't know if anybody remembers Mr. Soft. It was like this. That's exactly how I walk in high heels. So anyway, I purchased them. That them two was five pound each, which I thought was a, a bargain. And um, I, I did have a look at the other ones, but most of them was multiple patterns. And I thought, do you know what? Um, I've, I've got a lot of patterns, and I thought, am I just buying because they're five pound or or not? So I decided not to buy them. So the second time I went back into Watson and Thornton, I just bought some freeze paper. And this one was 5 95 which I thought was quite reasonable. Um, I have bought it mainly because because um, I am using still the, um, the fleece, the, the garden fleece relay i do like that but this is just in case i run out of anything um i'm not really i just i, I just I, I like a backup basically so that would be my backup in case anything goes wrong so then we went to abacan so i'll be back in a minute with where i went to abacan where's my stick gone oh thank god Lost it. I'll be back in a minute. Anyway, see you in a minute.
on the perk, you know the Do that. Do you know what? That that works out more at Abakan um, in the Market Street in Shrewsbury. Now that shop is the strangest shop I have ever fabric shop I've ever been in. Um, I don't know if it's the outlet shop for all Abakans or anything like that, but you'll see in the footage where majority of all fabrics were in baskets. And the baskets um, had fabric on them, of in them, and you could take the fabric out of them and ask for the meat, for the meterage that you want. But they weighed it, and that was the price. Um, but if there wasn't enough, um, if there wasn't over a meter of fabric to be put back on the shelf. They didn't, you, you, you either purchased the, sh the actual extra, what's it, or you couldn't have it at all. It's just, it was, <laughs> that's, a, that's what they were saying. So yes, um, what they did say was actually they don't cut, they won't cut it down if it's less than a, a metre to put back on the shelf, should we say. So anyway, um, in there I got, I purchased some, um, Micro fleece 
which is for Ian's, um, my husband Ian, for his um, dressing gown that I made for Christmas because he's, don't ask me what's happened to it, but the um, neck band on it that's gone all around is actually doing this on it and it seems like it's stretched and I'm, I'm not happy with that. I'm not having that. It's it's just not right. And it's it's waving as well. So I think it has stretched. So I am going to put put this micro fleece on. It's looking as if it's orange on there, but it, it is a deep red. It is coming up as um orange on there, but I promise you it is a deep red. Um so I purchased that and that was that worked out that it was it was 13.35 per kilo but I, I only asked for a metre of this and she charged me 5.79 because there was more than a metre on the um on the bolt on well it was like this in the in the in the crate just like oh, that is there it was in in the basket like that so um yeah so i had that and there was more than a meter left on it now this next one is a curtain remnant and this one was um 18 pound 40 per kilo and this worked out uh because i'd asked for just for one meter because um well, actually, it was a remnant and it was, I asked for one metre, but there was 1.6 on it. So it worked out that I had it for, for 9.75. Now, I've had this in mind here to make a um, Roman blind for my, um, for my window here. So, because um, it's, it's just gone. All the blinds gone. You can see the light coming through. It's just, it's terrible that's i mean i've had my new room done and i haven't had no curtains up so so that was that one <clears throat> then i purchased some um sweatshirting now this here was um 13.35 per kilo and this was just over 1.7 was it 1.7? No, I think there's two metres on this actually. I think I asked for two metres. Yeah, there's two metres on this and I think it was just over two metres. And yeah, that's def she's definitely give me two metres there. Um, and it worked out that I had it for 14.39 because there was, I think there was 2.4 or something like that. So it, was, it worked out at 14.39 um, for this sweatshirt. Now it's uh, it's the French, it says sweat, um, sweatshirt, but it is actually French cherry. You can see the fluff on it and it's just a little bit thinner. This I have in mind for um, a Jara sweater. Um, from Megan Nielsen so I'm just I've got that one in mind for that um I think it might suit me I don't know it's not going to happen now anyway because um or I, I might make a toaster sweater out of this one undecided yet I could do couldn't I yeah I've quite fancy the toaster sweater I might be able to get that done for the um stitch festival so anyway, after that, I've got. The, I'm looking down, guys, because I've got the receipts here. So I do apologise, and I do apologise for my shiny head. Um, after that, I had. I looked at this one. Now this is a t-shirt in plain um, t-shirt in. As I said before, they've done everything by the kilo in this shop. Um, so this one was as it was because it just wasn't worth cutting it down. Um, there is just two meters of this one, so I asked, I said, Go on, I'll have all of it. And it was, um, 
because I only wanted a meter and a half and um, there was two meters on it and I says to her I said go on I'll just have two I'll just have the two meters because that's what people will do when they get to the till because a lot that's what a lot of people were doing actually when I got to the till they was just going oh go on I'll have it um and this worked out at um t-shirting uh, it was £11.50 per kilo and I had this for £6.35 because there wasn't quite enough. Um, I suppose it works out cheaper if you pick up light fabrics, you'll get more for your money because they, they weigh it and they do it by the kilo. So I suppose if you had lighter fabrics as opposed to heavy fabrics in that shop in Abacan, you'll get um, more for your money. So that was that one and that was £6.35. Now this is the other one I had, which was a, excuse me, excuse my head, I am, do apologise, I'm sorry. Um, this one here was T-shirt in print. Now this one it is a spotty print, so it's a leopard print and it is 13.25 per kilo now i had here this one also works out i think i had this works out at two meters um i think there was 2.2 .2 or something like that in the end and this one came to 10 pound four pence for two meters which is not too bad actually um this one worked out at just over five pound a meter um so yeah that was all of my purchases from abacans and um i hope you enjoyed it and um i hope to see you soon so with my next purchases from the stitch festival see you soon So guys, as you can see, this uh, video was a bit of a long one. Um, uh, I do apologise, but it's what I've been up to all over the weekend. So if you've liked what you've seen, please like and subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, uh, I hope the uh, Stitch Festival one is not so long. So I'll see you next week. Bye bye.